Welcome to the Exonia News for Friday, February 5th, 2016. I'm Jim. Uh, and I am Justin. Our food drive is still going on right now. All food goes to the Exonia Food Pantry. Bring in non-perishable items for the food drive and put them in the boxes just outside the gym door. Did you know today is National Wear Red Day? People wear red on the first Friday of February to raise awareness for the heart. Disease. If you like pizza, you'll love February 9th. It's National Pizza Day. I think you should enjoy some pizza on this day. There is a PTO meeting in the school library next Thursday at 6 o'clock. Our post office project is underway. Students have already started writing letters to each other. This is, as always, a great school-wide writing activity. Yesterday, we met our buddies. Here's a video clip. I had fun meeting my partner, Gage. Who is your partner, Justin? Mine is Alex. He is, he is a first grader in music class. The fourth graders are learning to play the recorders, and second and third graders are practicing for their spring concert. It's time for a peek at the weekend weather. Let's go to our weather forecaster, Brooke. Friday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 27 and the low 21. Saturday will be sunny in the morning and cloudy in the evening. The high will be 35 and the low 24. Sunday will be cloudy with the high of 37 and the low 26. Have a great weekend! Thanks, Brooke. It's time to get healthy. This week, Olivia and Michaela have a healthy recipe to share. I'm Michaela. Today we are going to be showing you how to make a healthy recipe. It's called a parfait. First you get some yogurt and pour some into a cup or bowl. Then you get some berries of any kind you would prefer and pour a little of the berries on, in the yogurt. Then you add more yogurt on top. You can also add a lot of toppings, but today we're just going to use granola. Then, then enjoy a nice healthy snack that is easy for you to make. Mmm, that looks yummy. I make mine with s strawberries and blueberries. What about you? Um, I would do, I would do strawberries in mine. It's time for our questions of the week. This week, Hunter asked all of the third and fourth graders his question. This week, I surveyed the third and fourth graders. I asked them what team they would think would win the Super Bowl, the Denver Broncos or the Carolina Panthers. The results ended up like this. It was kind of lopsided, kind of not. We have 56 on the Denver side. 40 on the Carolina side. Who would you rather pick? I would rather pick Carolina. I think the Panthers are going to win the Super Bowl. Before we get to five questions, did you know that third graders are studying millet peas and fiddler crabs in science? We will go up there next week to see what they are up to. It's time for five questions. This week, Ethan chatted with the lunch ladies. Welcome to five questions for this week. I have a lunch ladies. First question, what's your hardest part about the job? Making sure that the food is uh, done on time and that it's not burned. Right? We don't want to burn it for the children. No way. How do you decide when you eat today? 
we don't. The company we work for, work for does. It's done on a month to month menu. Do you, have, do you have any kids? Yes. Yes. I have one son. I have two daughters and five grandchildren. How long have you guys been a mother? Five years for me. Four. What's your favorite food you make? Quesadillas. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. I like grilled cheese too. Yes. That's it for five questions this week. Thanks, Ethan. That wraps up our newscast for this week. Thank you for watching. We'd love to get your feedback. Leave a comment on our YouTube page. Make sure you tell your friends and family about our YouTube channel and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, be kind, be safe, be a learner, and keep everyone in mind. Then you add more yogurt on top.